Hi there guys, so let's take a look in this video on how to add videos to your WordPress post and uh, WooCommerce products etc. So uh, first things first, we'll need a plugin and uh, the plugin name is um, really simple featured videos. I need to search for it. So this plugin is a straightforward way to add uh, video support, uh, featured video support to be exact uh, uh, for your uh, WordPress CPT. So let's install. And then hit activate. And uh, I can allow this and continue or I just skip it. So we have it uh, as you can see here there's a uh, post site post type support. Um so, uh, actually it redirected to the settings page uh, once uh, activated. So as you can see in this general settings tab we have this post type support and where we can toggle on and off uh, for which post types we want to enable featured videos. By default posts uh, CPT is enabled. We can also enable it for pages. Uh, so let's do that and hit save changes. Uh, we can discuss this later what these do and controls and uh, integrations. But let's um, go ahead into our posts and then mm, let's take a look at the site first. So this is how it looks right now. And uh, if we now go into the post and then here it is at the bottom of this featured video meta box in the inspector. Uh, so let's, uh, there are two options by the way. One with which you can upload a self hosted video where it will be hosted on your site itself or uh, embed a video from YouTube, Vimeo or Daily Motion. So let's first uh, upload a video. Uh, and I have downloaded a few videos from Pexels in the stock videos. So let's use them. And then here we go and then hit update. And then as you can see it's now uh, uploaded here and you can see it is here. But uh, as you are able to see it's not uh, being played by default that's because we need to update a few settings here in the settings really simple featured video which is where the settings for the plugin is in the controls. And then we will need to enable the controls and autoplay if you want to autoplay directly let's just autoplay but uh, as you can see here's a note autoplay will only work if mute sound is enabled uh, this is a restriction in the latest browser policies so let's uh, do that <laughs> let's also um, enable the same for embedded videos from youtube vimeo etc when we add it uh, hit save changes now, if you were to refresh this, as you can see here, the controls and the videos being played. <laughs> so that was a quick way uh, to add videos to your WordPress uh, sites. But uh, there's one more thing to notice that um, this was uh, a new uh, block type uh, thing. So hence, uh, we didn't need to do anything and the video got added by itself. But in the classic themes, such as, uh, let's use one. Let's go for a 2020, 2020 theme. This is a classic theme, not a block based theme. If you know what I'm talking about, you would know that uh, uh, these uh, had, uh, um, th these were the um, older way of uh, uh, using themes. Basically, uh, these were the traditional uh, WordPress uh, themes. So from 2020, uh, uh, above 2020, like the 2021 and 2022, etc. are block based themes. And uh, most uh, themes uh, right now are still classic and the old, uh, uh, in made in the ways of the classic themes. So let's look at how classic themes um, work with the really simple featured videos. Let's activate this 2020 theme and go to the post uh, to go back to our site and, and as you'll be able to see the video is no longer being displayed 
that is because the way classic themes work and how really simple featured video works uh, in uh, the classic themes you will need to add or upload a featured image as well to make the <clears throat> uh, featured video show up so let's download one let's go back to pixels again instead of pixels videos we'll go back to home and then download a picture let's say we'll download this one okay now if we were to go here and upload this and then set featured image now if we head back to our site you'll be able to see the video being displayed that is because uh, the uh, in the classic themes uh, really simple featured video takes over the place of the featured video thumbnail so it is required to upload a featured image as well <clears throat> now what you can do is for every uh, <clears throat> uh, post that you would want to add a video you have a placeholder image and then just uh, keep using that so yeah that was one way to um, um, add video support to your WordPress posts and pages. I mean, let's look at pages as well. We haven't yet. It will be the very same. You just need to upload a featured image, if in case for classic themes. And uh, now let's embed a video from YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. And let's go from this one. We'll copy the link and then so that's simple as directly copy pasting it and then now if you were to take a look at our page it shall have the video as you can see here it is so that is how easy it is we can look into um, the woocommerce way as well but uh, that will also be the very thing so let's just quickly go through it the commerce and then install and then hit activate <laughs> let's skip the first part we don't need this let's quickly add a product we will just say demo product it is now displaying uh, the tutorial writing products etc let's skip all this and as i have told you earlier um the classic themes but uh, in woocommerce case everything is made and still followed using the classic wordpress ways so in woocommerce it is specifically required to add a product image in order for the featured videos to work but um, in the beginning you'll be able to see here as like the featured video meta box isn't appearing that is because what we had to do earlier as well let's hit publish this product first and let's take a look at front end um, here's the product page but as you can see uh, it's not being uh, I mean of course we didn't add a video but let's let's have the meta box first to add the video and go back to our uh, let's go back to our settings and then really simple featured videos settings and then controls <laughs> so the uh, sorry not controls in general uh, the post type support will need to enable it for products now if you go back to a products page and then hit edit again <laughs> at the very bottom you'll be able to see the same meta box as you were seeing in the block editor the self and the embed let's use the embed video again and hit update now, if you were to refresh our shop, uh, okay, that says uh, uh, policy. Error. Oh, yeah, that's because, uh, yeah, this is what is doing that. 
Anyways, uh, it won't be uh, happening uh, at your end because I'm using um, invalid uh, HTTP SSL for my local site. Uh, let's use the self video for now. Use this video and then hit update. Okay. okay. As you can see, the video being played and displayed. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what you can do for this uh, placeholder image, which is, I think, uh, it's an issue. Uh, just hit set product image and then um, set product image. Yeah, by the way, I think it works by default without even adding an image. But um, for that placeholder issue, you need to add an image. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it is being displayed well and uh, working uh, just as we want. You could also disable it on the shop archive pages if you want, don't, do not want to show these uh, Im uh, product images at the archives. Uh, you just need to go into settings. One really simple featured video. <laughs> Integrations and then WooCommerce settings. So yes, show videos at product archives. Just uh, untoggle it. And and as you can see, it now it will go back to the single product. It's only visible at single product page. So that's about it. Uh, this is how to add the product videos or posts, videos to post um, using this really simple feature video plugin. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Have a good day.